Welcome to the first ever Dicty World Race, where cells will compete to be the world's fastest and smartest. Anytime you get a cut, white blood cells called neutrophils race to the site of the wound, where they patrol and engulf invading bacteria. Neutrophils are an essential part of our immune system and our ability to ward off infection. They are also important in many inflammatory diseases, including heart disease, arthritis, and even cancer. In burn patients, neutrophil migration is impaired, putting these patients at a high risk for infection. Here we show the migration of neutrophils from a healthy donor on the left versus a burn patient on the right. The neutrophils from the burn patient are considerably slower. To better understand neutrophils, researchers use model systems which can be genetically manipulated. One model system is the social amoeba Dictostelium, aka Dicti. The other model system is a human leukemia cell line, HL60. In addition to being fast, neutrophils also need to be good at finding their way to sites of infection. They do this by following chemical cues in their environment. Here's the Dicti amoeba moving towards a micropipette filled with a chemical attractant. The cell senses and moves up the chemical gradient in a process called chemotaxis. This year's race seeks to find ways to enhance neutrophil chemotaxis. To do so, we are challenging researchers to use the model systems DICT and HL60 to engineer the ultimate chemotaxing cells. Here's a map of the race course. The cells enter the maze at the bottom, and the finish line is the reservoir of attractant shown at the top. Now we're ready for a test run. From the starting line, cells must first migrate to the entrance of the maze. Once inside, they must squeeze their way through narrow channels, using the chemical cues to guide them. Cells are challenged at each turn to avoid dead ends and find the most direct path to the finish. As you can see, these particular cells are not the fastest nor the smartest, as many cells are not taking the shortest path. The last stretch involves a sprint to the finish. On May 16th, cells submitted from all over the world will race against each other. Which ones will be the smartest and fastest? Stay tuned to find out.